Welcome to Conscious Coupling, where Frederick Gobey and Christy Whitman share their experiences of creating a conscious, connected relationship. Every week, they give practical tools, steps, and processes to help you find the loving connection with your partner. Let's get into today's conversation with Frederick and Christy. Welcome back to the Conscious Connected Coupling with Christy Whitman and and Frederick this guy. and this guy Go Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in our studio, our beautiful studio. It's not ours; we're renting. No, it. no, it's ours. It's our beautiful <laughs> studio. We're right at home over here. Yes. Right? So today, <laughs> today, let's today, get, today uh, how to be? To, we're not how to be in. Today we are talking about how you cannot take responsibility for anybody's consciousness. Now what does that even mean? What is consciousness? What is con being conscious? Being conscious is having awareness, having understanding, and having knowledge. That's really what the definition of consciousness is. And so how could you, in a relationship, be responsible for what someone is aware of or not aware of? what they understand or what they don't understand. A lot of times we want to make our partner understand what we mean and understand our feelings when they can't because they're only coming from their own perspective. They can maybe, you know, okay, I hear you. That's different than how I feel, right? But to fully really be understood. We as humans want to be so understood, but when we think about it, you're coming from your own perspective. You're breathing by yourself. You've got your own emotions, your own thoughts. No one even experiencing the same situation could have the same exact experience. So the understanding that we're looking for is really within ourselves. And then the knowledge of how to shift something, how to um, you know, understand what, what's happening in energy and what to do about it. It's like that knowledge of getting, I'm in lack right now, okay, how do I get out of lack and into abundance? So when you try to look at your partner and expect that they think like you think, believe that you, what you believe, perceive what you perceive, have emotions that you have, all of that kind of stuff and do it exactly how you do it or else they are wrong, that is a recipe for disaster and that's being straight back into the drama triangle if you listen to the last episode that we did. And often uh, that's, that's the, the, what we hear is, you don't understand what I'm feeling and that's okay. If or you have to take responsibility for making me feel better. Right, true, true. So the responsibility is more within within you. Conscious behavior is an inner inner uh, perspective, right? It's, an it's, inner journey. it's not a right or a wrong. Uh, unconscious behavior is, as you're saying, blaming someone. Who's right? Who's wrong? Whereas a conscious a conscious way of speaking is more of a how do, what are our options, right? Wh wh how do I feel and taking responsibility inside for what happens to me? Yeah, so I'll just share something that happened this morning. Um, I always like to be very uh, vulnerable and pr transparent. Um, yesterday I worked a lot. I did like two webinars and a healing call and two literally classes that were 90 minutes and, uh, and a meditation in the morning. I mean, I love what I do. And there are days when I have full days like that and um, probably would have been a good idea to go right to bed, but then I had interviewed Susie um, Plackett, or Pla Plankett? Um, I forgot her last name now. Yeah, um, that was in the movie Disclosure, which I love that movie with Demi Moore and Michael Douglas. And so I was, I love a power of intention. So I was sitting there, I'm like, God, I would love to see that movie again. I'm gonna see if I could search it up. All of a sudden, I'm looking through HBO and it says Disclosure's coming on in like 30 minutes. I was like, oh my God, that's so synchronistic. I love it. I love when life works like that. I love when law of attraction, I just attract stuff like that. So I started watching it. Fredericks came over, started you know, getting into it, and we ended up going to bed at 11 o'clock last night. And so I had to get up this morning to, um, to conduct my meditations. And so I was feeling a little honory, a little bit off, not as centered, not as skillful. And he was um, reviewing our notes, and I needed to gather up my stuff. I'm very organized, and when I don't have my stuff organized, I get a little eh. So I was trying to get everything organized, get everything in the car, and you know, get the kids ready to go to camp, and all that kind of stuff. And he was still kind of taking notes on my notes. And I said to him, I said, you're, I feel like you're bogarting 
my notes and I need to get them ready and I'd like to review my notes too. And I was just very kind of agitated. And he just stopped and looked at me and he goes, I hear you. And I went, okay, he hears me. Good, I'm heard. That's all I wanted to hear. As that's, all I, that's all I needed is that finish up your shit and <laughs> get me my notes. <laughs> I, mean, I need my notes, right? And it just felt out of like I felt uncomfortable because I hadn't reviewed him. I hadn't prepared at least this morning for how I wanted to. And just with him acknowledging that's just saying, I hear you. And he's like, I, I'm, d I'm done or I'm, I'm finishing up. It was like, okay. I didn't need him to understand why I felt the way I felt. I didn't need him to go into this whole thing of under, like, comprehending and having the awareness of what I need to make myself feel comfortable when I go into the studio. He didn't need to know all that. And I didn't need to know that he knew that. I just needed to know that he heard my frustration. Now, it might sound silly, but we all get in these kind of situations where we're maybe not as skillful or we're tired or something just kind of we're off, you know, and to have your partner neutralize the energy by going, I hear you. And not do it in a way like, I hear you, you know? Or like a calm down or a relax. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Everything is good. How much right? do we I love? I could have said that too. How much do we love to hear, relax? God. And when he, when, he, when he used to say that to me, he used to say that to me, and I'd be like, oh my God, that would make me more crazed, right? Just relax. Why are you so upset? There's no reason it was like, so now it's invalidating. All he has to say is, I hear you. And I'm like, good. See, guys? That's the word, the two words, right? Three. I hear, I hear you. you. <laughs> I, I hear. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. You know, that's, it really diffuses. So whenever you have your partner, could be female or male, that comes to you and is a little more uh, stabby in the language or a little bit little more, more emotional. Stressful. or Yeah, the stress level seems to be higher. There's an overwhelmed feeling. All you have to do is stay within yourself, because if he would have got knocked off, he would have reacted and responded to me in a very different way. And I got knocked off initially because she's coming at she's coming at me, and I'm just taking care of the paper. And I know that the, these are her paper papers for the shows that we're Mine. going to do today. <laughs> and, and I'm taking care of her papers, and I don't I don't understand why is she coming at me and telling me that uh, you know I need to leave these papers alone. It's like I, I've got it, babe. And I saw that she was also a little bit, you know, in in her in her ways. She was caught up in in her uh, in her own stress, and knowing what we know, that that comes from the work that we've done together. Uh, not to be in the drama triangle. I just decided, you know, after her telling me that, to say. Perfect. I hear you. So, so he did that not would diffuse it. Yes, and he did not try to take responsibility for my consciousness. He did not try to change my thoughts. He didn't try to make me feel a different way, which nobody can make you feel anything. So that's the point is that when you come from the understanding that when you look at it from this perspective, from energy, we're very fused together, especially if we're in drama triangle together. But if you've learned this, he is himself. He is his own entity. There is a place where he leaves off. There's a place where I start. He's got his own divine connection with his own life force that he's breathing. And inside this mechanism, inside this energy tower, he's got his own thoughts. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm Italian. D I, I speak with my hands. If, see, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you on the podcast, I'm waving my hands around, and he is now <laughs> making fun of me doing that. So he has his She's own creating thoughts. creating a cocoon for me. He's got his own thoughts, he's got his own perspectives, he's got his own feelings. And in, as a loving partner in this relationship, I need to respect those because they're not mine. And I can't make him feel a certain way. I can't force him to think a certain way. I can't make him behave in a certain way. I can certainly understand how he is coming from himself and has the thoughts that he thinks or the feelings that he has. And sometimes we'll have the discussion. So if, say, for example, he's in a place of lack of something, right? And I'll just say to him, well, how does that make you feel to think that? Or the other day we had a really great discussion because nothing in this universe is assertion-based. It's all attraction-based. So sometimes we might think like something's coming at us or someone's coming at us or someone's doing something to us. But when you really come from the place that we're all creating our own reality, that everything is attraction based and that we're all attracting it, whether we want it or not, whether we're consciously doing it or not, 
the way the council talks about it is it's really all a gift so that if you're attracting something that's contrast it's an opportunity for you to get clear on what you don't want and get get clear on what you do want and understand that we're attracting it from our energy so there might be a block or an emotion that we're um, is like a set point for us so I said to him the other day it to in order to create the situation what would you have to believe and it just stopped him but you talk you talk about your experience when I said that to you instead right, well, of it, you being like a victim like <clears throat> it's happening to you when you take responsibility and go okay if I am attracting everything and I am what would I have to believe in order to create this right so what would be the the choices that I would could have made uh, when that that situation happened and looking back at it I had more than just one choice and I decided to do to do one thing which which w caused the repercussion and so looking back instead of not me, with me with his family me being a victim in all of that and you know I can say to myself okay what what are the other choices that I could have made in order to still take responsibility for the the role that I've played in that and look at maybe what why why is it that that behavior showed up in in front of me basically and so in in doing that that's a good exercise for me to also get out of the the space of being a victim and that happened to me and that you know though though whatever whatever situation happened is such a such a difficult situation to get out of and and so instead I am now in, in the choices, okay, how, how could this situation have been either avoided um, or, or maybe it, it could have been in a less, less intense way uh, to be dealt with. But and even different, what do I have to believe to create something different in the future? Right? So because you're creating from your beliefs, so what did you, what did you believe in that moment to attract this? It's like, okay, I believe that, so I need to change my belief in order to, to attract something different in the future. Mm -hmm. So knowing what the belief is that attracted it, you can then say, okay, if that's true, that I believe this and I attracted this situation because of what I believed, it could be I don't have enough money or I'm not, I, I don't have what it takes to create money. That's not his situation. but All of a sudden, you, you're seeing yourself in debt or you can't, no matter what you're doing, you can't attract money then find the opposite belief. This is a polar, we, have, we live in a law of polarity. So if there's a rea reality that exists where you're not getting support from your partner, there is a reality exists where your, support, your partner is very supportive of you. So if you keep attracting a situation in your couple, for example, where your partner isn't supportive or isn't saying the right things or doing the right things, and you have this belief that you're identifying that he's always like this or she's never like this, change the belief. As a matter of fact, write down a new belief of what you would like it to be so that you are attracting the best from that person. However, because you have to remember, you're constantly attracting everything in your reality. So you can take responsibility for what you're attracting, but you cannot take responsibility for what someone else is thinking, how they are behaving, for, how their, they, action. for their actions for their own consciousness. If someone is stuck in drama triangle and they only know that particular way of being and you're in a place of now coming from places of choicefulness and really expansive love, unconditional love instead of you know conditioned love and you're practicing the universal laws like the law of allowing and you're, you're really feeling free and good and that person now looks at you because you're a, they, they are deeming you as a persecutor, the bad guy, because you're not going along with stuff then you know that's up to them. That's their consciousness, and you can't take responsibility for it. Right. All you need to do is basically practice compassion yes. for them. Um, that that helps figuring out that letting letting go of oh well they don't understand me. It's more of a you need to understand yourself, and then have compassion for others who are in their in their on their way of, of growth or or not. Yeah. So steps for this week are really just understand that 
Whatever you're feeling, is it because someone's trying to make you feel that? What is your own emotions? How are you feeling? What are you believing? What are you thinking? Take responsibility for your own consciousness. Let other people have theirs and feel that allowance, feel that acceptance and allowing of another person. And then just really listen to yourself. You can't make anyone feel something, so you can't take responsibility, but you also choose how you feel too. So someone else isn't making you feel a certain way. You're choosing your thoughts. You're choosing how to perceive something. Remember, it's all based on law of attraction. It's all based on what you are feeling, thinking, perceiving is your consciousness. And your divine is always in the space of loving you, is adoring you, is wanting to support you, and you are divinely designed to have health and well-being and abundance in all aspects and success in all aspects of your life and absolutely loving relationships. And when you know that and you can feel that and you can feel where you're not in alignment with that, that's your own conscious work to do. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Next week we are actually going to be talking about money, honey. So we are gonna be talking about how to uh, play with money in your couple. And this is gonna be a fun, good, juicy discussion. So make sure to tune in next week. If you want more support from Frederick and myself, you have lots of ways to do it. You can go to christywhitman.com and under the Start Your Journey Conscious Coupling, you will see different options for a process series of 30 days for a in and out of the drama triangle to help you implement and understand. And of course, we have our coaching together, which is the Mac Daddy of all stuff if you really want to shift things quickly. So um, let us know. Leave us a comment. Any last words? Have a good week. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Conscious Coupling with Frederick Gobey and Christy Whitman. If you like our show and want to know more, check out ChristyWhitman.com. And please leave us a review on iTunes. Learn how to turn your partner into your soulmate. Join us again next week for another powerful episode.